Powering the Future has been FPT Industrial's trademark for the last 10 years. With a production of over 500,000 units, we are one of the largest industrial diesel engine manufacturers in the world. We offer six engine families for every application. Our mid-size NEF engines are fabricated in Sete Lagoas, Brazil, Chongqing, China, and Turin, Italy, three of the ten manufacturing sites of the FPT global footprint. With over 1,400 people, the Turin engine factory can produce approximately 200,000 engines a year, which are available in 4.5 and 6.7 litre versions, with power outputs between 75 and 320 horsepower. Let's have a look how they are made. Four and six cylinder engine blocks for the over 600 variants are loaded in random order on the machining line. The transfer line links 160 individual machines where milling, drilling and boring operations are performed. For operators to easily identify the different block variants, they are number coded. One of the most important machining activities is the honing of the cylinder. The diamond spindle grinds the metal to perfect diameter with the precision of a micron. The operation lasts about 60 seconds. Precision is key. Reducing the clearance between piston and liner increases engine horsepower and efficiency and optimizes oil consumption. The cylinder head follows the same production process of the engine block. The cylinder head houses valves, the timing system and air, water and oil conducts. The transfer line connects 150 stations. Both the cylinder head and the engine block are thoroughly checked after the machining process to ensure watch-like precision. Accuracy is guaranteed by quality controls for dimensional tolerance. Both the block and the head also host passages for fuel, oil, coolant, intake air and exhaust gases. All ducts are pressure checked in order to detect hidden defects that can occur in the material. Before we unite the engine block to the cylinder head, we need to pre-assemble a series of sub-components. Let's start with the piston and connecting rod combination. The high number of product variants require a very tight process control. The coupling of the parts is managed by an optical sensor that gives the green light only after compliance is confirmed. A wrist pin is inserted automatically to link the connecting rod with the piston. Perfect coupling of piston, rod and rings is camera checked. Any faulty combinations would be identified and stopped. Before inserting these in the engine block, the crankshaft needs to be carefully fitted. The structure is now ready for the mounting of the piston rod assembly into the cylinder. At the same time, in another part of the factory, the cylinder head is pre-assembled. The valves are picked and inserted automatically. After turning the cylinder head upside down, valve springs and injectors are mounted. The last part to go on the cylinder head is the common rail. Seeing the high pressures that will go through the injection system of up to 2,200 bar, we prefer to have a human touch in assembling this part. Once the pre-assembly is finished, we can start to unite the parts of the engine. Most of the production process is fully automated and allows us a very high degree of customization. Component coding enables vision and handling robots to manage key operations. 
codes contain all necessary information to automatically unite the engine block with its cylinder head. Before sending the engine in the final dressing area, sealant is applied and the timing gear cover is put into place. The last part of the assembly, or final dressing of the engine, needs a human touch. Dressing means adding the accessory subsystems that control, lubricate, cool and fuel the engine. At the end of the assembly, the brain, the engine control unit, is specifically programmed for its future application. Through the whole manufacturing process, all barcoded elements, all operations and all quality controls are automatically recorded into a database, available for the whole engine life cycle. We have arrived to the final quality control that regards 100% total production. In the state-of-the-art testing cells, a thorough checkup is accomplished, providing full engine information. After the checkup, the makeup, the engine is prepared for paint by protecting all sensitive parts. A fully automated process of painting by immersion followed by spray finishing will make the engine look as you will see it. The engine is now ready for shipping to our customer's factory, where they will be mounted in the final product. The NEF engine that has come out of our plant is a robust, state-of-the-art power unit that can be put to use with maximum efficiency and profitability in different missions, like on-road and off-road transport marine propulsion, power generation, agriculture and construction.